So, let's take a look at Half-Life. And I have another video on this where I go into more detail, but we'll look at it briefly today. Let's say that <clears throat> on the y-axis you have reach in your blood, drop your blood, measure your level of buprenorphine. So this is your buprenorphine level. And this is 24 hours, this is 48 hours, this is 72 hours. So if you take your medicine all at once on the morning of the first day, which is actually what the manufacturer recommends, and let's just say your blood level goes up to a 10, it's going to take 30 hours for it to drop to a 5. You take it again all at once on the next day and you shoot up to a 10, it's going to take 30 hours for it to drop down to a 5. And this keeps on. And what you get is a blood level goes in a nice sine curve, stays pretty steady, stays level. <clears throat> you take it twice a day, you're taking half the amount of medicine, but you still have the same process where it's going to take 30 hours for it to go away. You actually end up with a little bit lower level, usually not enough to account. What you don't want to do with your Suboxone Say, oh, I better take a piece, give me a quarter, give me a quarter, give me a half, give me a quarter, give me a quarter. Take little low doses. You don't ever get your medicine. You always feel like you're on the edge of withdrawal. So take your medicine the way you're supposed to. And, uh, and remember the basic principles of harm reduction. You never use alone. You always do a test dose. And you always have some form of Narcan available. Whether it's the nasal spray Narcan, whether it's the injectable FCO, whether it's the injectable generic, whether it's the double strength Coxado, you have to have some sort of Narcan available. Narcan is generally available now through health departments and other recovery coalitions. So with this basic understanding, this is how buprenorphine works. Buprenorphine helps people with addictive disorders, with opiate use disorders, feel normal. It's a treatment for the disease of opiate use disorder. So let's say you're on three a day. That's 24 milligrams. That seems like a lot of Suboxone. Well, <clears throat> the reality is you can taper from three a day to two a day pretty much overnight and not notice any difference at all because your brain can't distinguish between 97 and 94 percent. That's pretty much all psychological. So I've had people drop from three a day all the way to one a day because they had gone out of town or they were out of money and they had to cut back. And they say they couldn't tell any difference at all between three a day and one a day. And you'll hear that very frequently. So the first thing you want to go is get from three to two. That's relatively easy. If you want to do it in a reasonable fashion, you alternate every day. Three two and a half, three, two and a half. Thanks for joining us. This is Dr. Tom. If you like this content, please hit like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, share, and check out the suggested videos if you would on the way out. Thanks again.